Okay, um, in this video we're going to show you how to make an Apple ID without um, a credit card which will allow you to download free apps. Um, this has been causing a bit of concern amongst a few people and uh, we just want to clear that up for you. Okay, so how you do that is you come to your iPad, go to your App Store icon. For the purpose of this demonstration we'll just press the top charts button, come to the free ones down the side here. Just choose any free app that you want. We'll choose iPlayer. Press the free button, then the install button. Create new Apple ID. Now this is pretty important, obviously, because you know that's what we're trying to achieve. If you've already got one, an Apple ID, use the existing one. Um, obviously, that um, will allow use of any credit cards which are associated with that account. But for this time, we're going to create new Apple ID. We're in the UK, so that's right. Press next. Um, terms and conditions, you guys can read that and agree to it or not agree to it as you see fit. We'll agree. Okay. I've made an, a, uh, an email address specifically for this demonstration, but you can use your own one. Um, obviously this stuff, information is going to be something that you have to decide what you want to put in. and then you press next assuming that that is alright okay so <laughs> we've I've used a password there which hasn't got a number in it so all I'm going to do is add a number on the end just to make it work Excellent, so now I'm going to include a capital letter. You can see they keep trying to get you to subscribe to emails and stuff. You might want those emails, so you can press uh, leave them on, but uh, I don't, so we won't. Okay, so this is the bit where, you, where it's important if you're trying to set it up without a credit card that you choose the right thing. So where it says payment card, if you press that, it comes up with your options notice the bottom one, it's none. We press that. We haven't got any gift certificates. If you have got gift certificates, feel free to put them in there. Put your details in. Make sure you put all of the details in or it will remind you. Okay, so what it will do now is it will send you a email um, with your Apple ID. Um, I'll, I'll go into that now, but what you do is whatever email address you've chosen to use here. If it's a school one, you can go into your email address on your iPad um, and find that information out and like click the link, activate it. I'll demonstrate that now.
Okay, so here you can see the email. Um, it says verify now, it's from Apple. Verify now, we'll press that. It loads up. All you've got to do is put in the Apple ID that you've registered. The Apple ID is just the email address effectively that you've decided to use, so. You verify that that's an actual email address. So there we go. Now there's a button here that says return to the store. If you're doing it on your iPad, there's no real reason to do that. You can just double tap here, press the Apple Store. So you're back here now. So you're thinking now, oh, well, that hasn't changed anything. And you're right at this point, it hasn't. When you press free install, it's going to ask you the same question. However, this time we're going to use existing Apple ID. Type in what we've done just there. And, as if by magic, we can download free apps now. Now obviously you won't be able to download paid for ones without associating a credit card to your account or using gift vouchers. Now with this ID that you've just created there, you can use gift vouchers with it. Um, but, there's, you know, um, we'll, we'll worry about that when that happens for now, or maybe a different video. For now, we'll just stick to that. That shows you how to get free apps. You can choose whatever you want. No credit card needed, no computer needed. Um, and that should be fine for pretty well everything you're likely to need um, that's not provided for you by the school. Okay, hope that was useful to you.